Hey, yo, DIY car, I heard you got a new shoe for the people. Man, what you talking about? Yes, I do. It's your boy DIY car coming at y'all with another video, man. Shout out to everybody that's been rocking with me, watching the videos, like, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate y'all. Today, your boy got a special, special shoe. Super special, that is. Coming from the good people over at pancake.ru. First time working with them, so we gonna check out their product at the same time, because again, my first time working with them, so, ooh. <laughs> Had to sneeze real quick, but it won't come out. But back to it. First time working with Pancake, so we gonna be checking out their shoes at the same time. But before we get into that, y'all already know. You know, I don't even have to say it, but I'm gonna say it. This is an informational video. This is my opinion only. I am merely teaching myself, teaching y'all at the same time on these UAs, reps, or the other word that I'm not gonna say because I don't even look at it that way. They all come from the same place. It just costs different amounts. That's how I look at it. But if y'all want to get into it, y'all can comment below and let me know what y'all thoughts are on that topic. And I don't mind coming back with my opinion because everybody has opinion just like me. But let's get straight into it. Like I said, this is a special, special shoe coming from pancake.ru. Again, shout out to them for reaching out to work with me for the first time. Greatly appreciate it. Starting out with the box though. Like I said, this is a special shoe, as y'all see. Right off the bat, y'all see that Jordan logo that is hidden on the top of the box with flight under it. Box did get a little dinged up in transit, but y'all know it comes a long way, so that's gonna happen. It did come double box, did they did what they had to do, but things happen. Can't do nothing really about that. But what's in the box is that cement paper. And that's about it. And you got that mold sticker on the side. But this is gonna be my size, size 10. And as y'all see, it says Air Jordan 4 Retro SE, which means special edition. Whew. We gonna get straight into the shoes. These are super special. Hence, special edition. These are gonna be the Retro Fours Olympic Paris editions that are releasing, I believe, June, July 27th, if I'm not mistaken. But I have the actual date right below, just so y'all can know. But off rip, first thing I noticed taking it out the box, there is no what. I'll give it a minute, see if y'all comment below, let me know. But there is no netting on this shoe, y'all. No netting. This is the first Retro 4 I've ever seen with no netting whatsoever. It looks like it, but there is none. For real, for like, what? <laughs> And I'm literally speechless because I, like I said, I've never seen no retro four without the netting. So it's crazy for me to see that for the first time. And without it being a collab, this is an actual retro four Jordan, no collab with no netting. So that's crazy. And another thing it does not have is the patch. It is embroidered on the front. That's not a patch, that's embroidered on the freaking tongue and the flight is still there All right two hints of two shades of gray smoke gray light gray um crazy got the speckled paint on the back of the hill on the tabs the wings that is 
and I pointed out every retro four, every retro three, two posts for size 10. If it has more than two, send it back, take it back because it is not right. Not right. It only has three posts when it's a 12 or a 13. That is correct. Not the other way around. <laughs> so don't keep that shoe. Take it back, get your money back. Cause I notice stuff like that. So I know other people notice it. But on the toe box, it got that crackled leather. This shoe has no smell, no glue lines, which with this material, you will be able to notice. The whole upper is a suede material. It does move, does, it does move. And it's super smooth super buttery no complaints there so they did real good on that they did super good on the whole shoe in my opinion honestly let me know what y'all think in the comments though again i will have the actual picture above so y'all can compare this is the actual picture that we'll be releasing in a few weeks the inside is going to be suede also which i've never seen on the retro four but i don't have all the retro four so it could be i know this shoe does remind me of the cost force the colors the materials not so much but the colorway does remind me of the cost force and i'll have that picture right here Y'all let me know what y'all think. Compare. Maybe, maybe not. It could be just me, but I don't know. Maybe somebody else feels the same way. That's going to be both of them together. Again, Pancake did a phenomenal job on these. First time working with them, it was a success, I would say. Because... No flaws whatsoever. But shout out to them and shout out to everybody that's been watching the videos, rocking with me, helping me continue to review these shoes for y'all and learning more about the UA world. I really appreciate it. And keep rocking with me because I got more on the way. It's going to be your boy, DIY Kari, signing out. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Peace.